Costa do not stop. But I heard they have a market here, no, or, or no? Sure, they got a couple stores here. Oh yeah, a couple stores all here inside of the building. One here, one down at the anchor. So what do you guys do here in the winter? Try not to go insane. Just have a couple beers. <laughs> How, how much have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> Hi, officer. My name is. Welcome Yay. to Whittier, baby. Thanks, thanks. Yes, thank you for coming Cheers. and having a drink with me. Guys, if I throw this water into the air, it's just gonna turn into crystals. Why? And thank you for all the fun last night. <laughs> thank yes. you, thank you so much for welcoming me here. I'm a couple miles outside of Anchorage, guys, here in Alaska. And I'm going to take you guys to a place where all of the town's residents reside in one building. And the only way to get to this town is through a tunnel that goes through a mountain and on top of the mountain is a glacier. All of the people living there have everything they need in that building. School, the supermarket, even a church. So let's go on a little road trip and check it out guys. I'm passing the old train tracks here. And there it is, Portage Glacier and Whittier, 12 miles away. We're approaching a tunnel, but I don't think this is the tunnel to Whittier. But surely enough, it is a tunnel. Yeah, no, it's not this one. I don't see train tracks. Hello. $13. 13 is this the famous tunnel to get yeah. to Whittier with the yeah. train tracks? Mm -hmm. Alright, so 13 bucks each way or? For the round trip. For the round trip? One time. And it's open so it the whole time or is it a certain time that's gonna close? 2.30. At 2.30 it closes? Yeah. From no, this way? 2.30 will be open to go through. Oh, until 2.30? Yes. And to return? And the return is on the hour at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock so far. I can give you the schedule on a map of Whittier. Okay. Okay, you guys have a map. I'm just gonna go visit that building where everybody lives. Mm -hmm. Do you live over there? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And what's it like? Um, it's quiet now. Uh huh. Um, it's slowing down now because of the season. Right. So, yeah. Okay, how many people live there? I don't know. Do you think somebody's gonna be friendly and show me around? Um, uh, yeah, Whittier people is friendly. Yeah? Okay, and you're you're Samoan? Samoan. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Oh, yeah, let me pay you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Guys, so this is pretty much the scene the whole time. It's quite beautiful. Great weather today. Yep. Are you on a... On a... You have your own video? Yeah, yeah, I make oh, YouTube videos, so... YouTube videos. Yeah, I want to go... Make a video. There a lot of guys did it already. I saw a, a couple on the people. internet, but mm -hmm. I'll add my touch to it. Okay, so you're gonna wait at lane number one. Uh -huh. When you enter the tunnel, 25 speed limit, headlights on, and no stopping unless it's an emergency. No stopping. I just no go. No stopping. Just go right through. All right. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye. All right. All right, guys. I'm liking Whittier already. Oh, oh, look at this truck, guys. So look at the front of it. It has like, what would you call that? Something to clear up all the ice. So this is how it works, guys. They have all these lanes here. She told me to get there on lane one and we're just gonna wait until 2.30. So it is, oh, it is two o'clock. We got some time to burn. Let me read up on Whittier. Pretty interesting, guys. So it's. 13 bucks for the round trip you get yourself a season's pass so i'm sure maybe that's what the locals that live there do or i wonder if since they live in whittier they can just go back and forth all they want so there it is next to me you can see the the train track and it goes right through here and like they said do not stop Just 
like that, we made it out. There goes the train tracks. So this was about three miles long, this tunnel. A lot longer than, than expected. Imagine being stuck in there. There's a rock slide outside or, I don't know, an avalanche. I passed a lot of avalanche zones while getting here. But anyway, there goes the welcoming sign. What's here? No cruises at the moment, guys, but here's the port. And here goes Whittier, and over there is the complex, the apartment building that houses everybody in here. Have a look just over there. There's the building where everybody lives. The whole town <laughs> inside that one building. That's it guys, don't let the sunny weather fool you, it's minus 2 degrees right now. Whoosh. Some children's bikes. Have a look guys, this used to be an army port over here during the Cold War. Nestled up in the mountains is a good spot. And being that Alaska is so close to, to Russia, it almost touches. And this apartment complex here, where everybody's at. It definitely does have some former former Soviet Union vibes. All right, let's go inside, guys, and let's make friends. All right, so this is the first thing I see, guys. They have their own church in here. And then a couple of memorials here. There's the engineer of the building. And it's been aging really fine. Here's the, the laundry room. Comes equipped with some vending machines. You get all your soap over here. Some change. And an ATM. So far I haven't seen a single soul guys. It's a Saturday. Closer. All right, that's how it works here. Florida to Alaska. Yeah. Did you drive? I drove to Whittier through the tunnel, but no, I flew over here. Uh, flew in from Seattle. But I heard they have a market here, no, or, or no? Sure, I got a couple stores here. Oh yeah, a couple stores all here inside of the building. One here, one down at the anchor. One down at the anchor, and that's you it. You can get some local color at the anchor. The anchor in. Have a beer, talk to the local, sir. Oh yeah, there's a, I can get a beer over there? Yeah. Oh, in here? No, right down the road. Right down the road? Right down the road. All right. You'll see it. Anchor I'll see it, can't miss it. Can't miss it. All right, then I'm gonna start there then. All right. Enjoy your time. Thanks, brother. Check it out, guys. The place comes equipped with his own post office. And check it out. So Monday through Friday they're getting service. Same as any other place in the US. And then here we have a store. outside I couldn't be more than 10 seconds out there I had to run back inside I'm used to it I got insulation here <laughs> the beer <laughs> helps you keep warm but it's only gonna get colder no it's, it's minus yeah. four right now it's minus four yeah well that's with the wind chill factor if I mean if the wind stopped it'd be pretty warm out there yeah it's the wind that's freezing us I think the elevator is <coughs> stuck <coughs> what's it like living in here oh, God. I've been doing it for 30, 33 years now. You've been here for 33 years? No, well, since 91. And I was okay, yeah. back and forth for a couple of years and then about 96. What the hell? That was the second floor. I was going in the basement. <laughs> Where you Check it out. So, this is the church. 
It's closed right now. I gotta come back on a Sunday. And then the rest down here is just storage units, guys. People store their stuff here. This place feels a bit creepy, guys. I'm not even gonna lie right now. <laughs> you barely come across people. How about this hallway here? It's closed right now, but this will take you across over to the school. You can see it's kind of painted there for the kids. But yeah, there's a building right here on the side and that's where the school is, guys. I wonder how many kids go there. So apparently most of the people don't want to show around. So I was redirected towards the one pub in town. It's actually a hotel for some of the the cruise ship passengers or whoever wants to come here and stay there and well they got their own little bar there so let's go grab a beer and maybe i'll find somebody there and we can explore that apartment complex a bit better so yeah the, the whole place is <laughs> there's not much going on guys but I, I see it over there the whole anchor in let's go get our beer guys the wind will just slam the door on you but have a look at this guys there's an empty abandoned building over there it looks like another one of these complexes but whoa the, the wind let's get let's get inside oh somebody left their dog in there Whoosh. alrighty guys the one hotel and the one pub in town Have a look at the menu. So I'm gonna get fish and chips and there's a place to get beer here. So give you guys the prices a bit. Okay, so I'll, I'll have the IPA please. And you have fish and chips available? Yep. The halibut? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll have that please. And a cold one, Icy Bay, Alaska. Cheers. I went with the fish and chips guys, the halibut. This is a fish you get around here in Alaska. And well, I met Rust over here. He used to be a commercial fisherman over in... Was, was that town, brother? Well, I'll, 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 I'll print print when you're down here. Gulf of Alaska, basically. Gulf of Alaska. And since so you were 12, you have your own boat? Yes. And you were fishing? Yes. Then you went to the commercial side? Yes. And then it just died out. Well, when I was 17, I put a boat through, through the breaks. There were breakers on the beach. Um, lost my gear, lost the boat, swam to the beach. Push. Had to spend, I don't know, four or five hours on the beach until the tide got right so I could get a ride and uh, then I went to uh, pretty much said okay I'm done with this for a while and then it ended up up on a slope out of Point Barrel and at that time I was their chief mechanic for the North Slope Road Department of Public Safety when I got up there at 18 years old some childhood over there what childhood? No childhood. <laughs> People work up here. It makes you strong. Nowadays, you get kids and everything that don't even know their own ass from the hole in their eye. You know. Can't change the tire. I, I grew up in a world if you mouthed off to your mom, I would not be alive today. Me too. Okay. <laughs> Cordova, where I'm from, used to be the uh, clam capital of the world for razor clams. And then, of course, the 1964 earthquake changed all that, rose all that area, so the clams died off. Um, the Dungeness crab, well, razor clams were their number one feed. So when those died off, the Dungeness crab started going away, and then they 
these very smart powers that be thought that they would uh, bring the California sea otter back to Alaska and they put 300 of them in the lake and they raised them for two months and then they turned them loose out in the bay and they ate everything up that was left. Why did they bring the otters? Because there wasn't any. Because back in the fur, oh, fur trade okay, during, so yeah, during the Russia, you, you know, when the Russians were up here, they trapped them all. Yeah, and used their fur. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they decided it was a good idea to bring the otters back just to repopulate it, the species there. Yeah, and now and there's no crabs, there's no, there is no uh, steamer clams, there's no... Um, those things eat themselves out of house and home. A 100 pound otter needs to eat 30 pounds of food every day to keep itself warm because they don't carry any body fat. So their fur is what keeps them warm and the energy that they burn. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and so yeah, they ate a lot. 300 times 30 you know, a day. A 100 pound otter eats 30 pounds a day. That's so now we're looking at a population of some 30,000 of them over there. And you figure that out at 30 pounds a day. All right, yeah, they're eating, they eat everything. Everything. Back in the day, the natives and shit used to hunt them. But now with all this free money and all this kind of crap that goes around, the natives don't do anything with them anymore either. They don't need to. They don't eat them and they don't utilize the fur anymore. Because they used to, they used to go out, get them, and make things from the fur, from purses and, you know, and bed spreads and all kinds of things. Now they just let them be in. Now they, they don't even fall. They have almost no predators. You know, no. Killer whale, maybe, you know. But for the most part, no. Pushing crab pots. Have you ever watched Deadliest Catch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, well, I did that before it was a movie. Before it was a popular <laughs> TV series. <laughs> yeah, my last year there was 97 when I did that, but that's enough of that year. I uh, survived with all my fingers and toes. I lost a bunch of friends. Probably 30% of the people I grew up with and stuff have all died at sea. Around what year you moved over here to Whittier? Yeah, I came here because I well, left out of Kenya. I came here because it was work. The guy that owned this building needed needed help, so I worked for him for a few years. And then the seafood company that was before this one needed help, so I built them two blast breathers, put in all the condensers and the ammonia compressors. The buildings that all of that shit went into. And no new loading docks on the end of it, and then uh, a few years later, well, probably 10 years later, they, the owner of the building died. The kids didn't want anything to do with it, so the, so the company folded, left, sat idle for a year, and then a new company bought it, brought it in, there, and then I got hired the, the, the spring that they, the new company bought it. And we put in two more blast freezers, we re ramped the whole plant, got rid of all the old stuff, put all new stuff in. She's my sister. Build a, I don't know, I think the whole project probably got 15 million, between 10 and 15 million dollars that we put into that building over there. How long ago? Uh, well, I, did, I quit them this spring because they ripped me off. They sent me to Seward, I put in, um, Put a new generator in one of their big boats, and then they had a buying a buying barge that produces ice and this kind of stuff for the fishermen, and this net barge, and it had uh, generators and stuff on there. And I went through and redid the generators, redid all the lighting, redid the ice drum, and made sure all that was all working and everything, and then turned turned it. Then uh, when it come time for me to get paid. Well, they paid me my wage, but because I live in here, because I live here, they were to pay me my gas time when I was there, the gas money that I'm hauling their damn crews around to their stuff, 
and they were supposed to pay my grocery bill because I'm out of town. It's called per diem, okay? I don't live it. No live there. When I got back, went down here, turned into the office, and they basically told me to go screw myself. And they quit. Took the camera right. No pay, no work. That's it, period. I mean, they paid me my wage, but they didn't pay the per diem, the gas, or any of that. And basically, when they turned it in, they go, oh, well, good luck with that. And here in Alaska, it can add up a lot. And all your know, expenses. Yeah, well, you know, it, might, it wasn't all that much. A thousand, twelve hundred bucks. It's a principle of the matter, okay? If you tell somebody you were going to do this, and you go down and you do this for them, and then when you come back and you get told to go screw yourself, then it's war. Exactly. <laughs> so. so then I took an engineer job on a tender. You know, I was an engineer at Tender all summer, and that turned into a joke, too, because I guess Russia dumped a whole lot of fish on the market and undercut American prices and made it really difficult for American companies to sell their products, and they're still having a hell of a time selling. And that's right now. That's right now. Like, how many people live in there? Like 200? There are about 180. 180? Year round, maybe. And that includes the kids. Oh, the kids. About how many kids go to that school? With no well, how many kids go to that school? No well, fees. With Capital One is about 30, probably. 30? Yeah. <laughs> From midget to 12th grade, you know. Yeah. Well, then maybe some of the classes have like two kids or they mix them in there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I haven't been in school. I graduated in school in 76. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing the majority of the people here, they work what, like here in this hotel? Most of the people that are here in the winter time are port management for, the, for, for this place, for that place, uh, for the big tower, that 14 story building up there. That's some uh, maintenance people that work up at the other building, and then you got uh, Customerine. Larry Gallman, who, uh, you know, he does boats and pretty much year-round, but pretty much in the wintertime, you know, after. For the last seven years, there was work even down at the plant, down for the major company, because they had all this forklift and all these shit that needed to be repaired. But because of money issues and because of the economy and based on everything what it is all this shit shutting down during the pandemic how was it here we were busy we were building a company mm. were you guys allowed to go to anchorage at all or oh yeah the tunnel closed no 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 do anything we wanted here but we didn't have the pandemic issue we had a few issues but the people that we brought in for the, for the plant They'd be quarantined in Anchorage, and they had to be clear their quarantine before we could bring them down here. And has the tunnel ever been closed? Like a, an avalanche or a rock slide ever closed it down and uh, you guys were trapped in here? Yeah, one year. Oh God, 2000, what was that, 2010? When uh, we had a big rock slide that came down and it closed the road on the other side, so then it went back to training it, riding the train, like it, we originally did. Okay, but you could still get out, but you have to ride the train. Yeah. And for those that didn't ride the train, you're, how long did it take to clear things up? Well, train would leave three days a week, I think. Yeah, yeah. It only goes as far as Portage. You put your, you'd have it, you know, if you had a vehicle there, you'd stash it there, you get off of Portage and then uh, drive down. Do your business, come back, get on a train and come back. So and you didn't way. have a car on the other side? If you didn't have a car on the other side, you're kind of screwed. You'd have to hook up with somebody else that you knew that was going out on the train. All right, so the community just got together and yeah. 
You guys kind of, all right, you're going to Anchorage. Get me this, please, or. Yeah, or you go with them or do whatever you could. To get them stuff. Well, I can say this prior to 2000, this was a pretty fun and pretty busy little town to live in. And after they opened the road and opened it up for trains and cars, everybody left. Things couldn't hold it up. We used to have dark leagues and pool tournaments and all kinds of things here through the winter time. Now we have none of that. So what do you guys do here in the winter? Try not to go insane. Just have a couple of beers. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah, it isn't. If it isn't sunny and blowing sideways, it's raining and blowing sideways, or snowing and blowing sideways. So it's always the wind is the real factor here. Yeah, always. I'm sure it's driven more than one person nuts in his lifetime. <laughs> I can imagine. And then in the winters when you almost get no daylight, like five, six hours of daylight. Yeah, well, you have that. Was it five hours I think we get is our max? Yeah. When you get out and do what you have to do in the daylight. Mm -hmm. And then back home and veg. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let me get you a beer, man. sit here and drink. <laughs> hey, can you put his on my tap, please? <laughs> but, you know, that is, uh... I'll have another. That is the way of Whittier. Is there a police around the town, or...? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> they have a station over here, but mainly they, they spend more time policing Girdwood and the highway and shit than they do here, because here there's really fucking not much goes on. People, <laughs> people behave over here. Pretty much, because it's pretty small. And Everybody knows mm -hmm. who you are. You don't know, get away with a whole lot of crap there. Not in the wintertime. Summertime's different because you get all kinds of tourists and all kinds of shit going on, but people driving through here all the time. And it's, it's becoming more and more worse because, well, you got drug addicts and thieves that think that, well, it's because you own this, it's, uh, well, I'm going to go take it from you. And you find that everywhere nowadays where people have zero respect for anybody else's property okay they'd rather be a thief and figure out ways to steal from people and actually do a real job yeah. you know, or earn their wages earn their wages you know. i'd train and i deal with 300 people every summer over there and two people out of 100 people might know how to read a tape measure. Introducing new well, that's how bad it is. Most of them, well, it's, gotten, it's gotten so bad. Most, even these kids that live in this country nowadays don't know what, don't know what state, you know, don't know what countries border the United States, don't know what oceans border the United States. Can't change a tire. Can't change a tire. Can't make change. You ask them how many pennies in a dollar. They'll think, oh, 90? Let me ask. <laughs> let me ask or my let me phone. Ask Siri or maybe <laughs> let me ask my phone. Or, or don't do me like that. Okay? I might have to use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hurt too much. <laughs> Times have changed, man. Well... If this is what the world's coming to, I'm glad, you know, I only got about 20 years or 25 years left if I'm lucky and then I'll be gone and they can have it and shit all over it themselves because that's what's happening. And in Alaska, it's visibly mainly or mostly around coast communities and shit here, we are not cheap, okay? Right. We fight at the end. Like you know, if you start reaching and yanking shit out of my pocketbook, you better fucking be prepared to get bit, okay? Right. <laughs> because. I should be. We don't play that shit. 
Uh, you want to be, you want to be a dipshit? But can, well, you can go down south, go to New York, or go someplace like that and be a dipshit. But you ain't doing it here. Uh, go to Seattle. I saw a lot of that shit over there. Oh, even Seattle. That's it. You come to me looking for a job and you can't read a tape measure. I'm showing you the door. I don't give a fuck what color you are or what what place you're from. <laughs> and here in Alaska, you you need to you need to be know you need to know what you're doing. You know, you can call yourself a god. And I'm still gonna show you the fucking door. <laughs> Get out. There's no go to school. No go learn here. something. <laughs> Hell, I even got kicked out of the plant one year because I, I got told that I can't talk to people like that. And, uh, and that plant is around here? Yeah, I was right down here. And uh, we had a bunch of uh, people and stuff working in there all butthurt. You know, the work was too tough. They didn't want to do this. I went in there and fucking laid waste to them. And the company came to me and said, Russ, you can't do that. I said, well, if they don't know how to do their goddamn job, and they want, if they only come up here for four months, okay? You come here for four months, you do your goddamn job, you go home. Mm -hmm. And you got paid pretty well to do and it. you get paid pretty goddamn well to do it. You're going to come up here and start bitching and whining about this and that. Get on a fucking airplane and go back home. Amongst the populace. Um, well, apparently, you know, I'm not allowed to talk to people like that because people have feelings. So they laid you off? No, they just stopped me from going into the plant. So I stayed in the maintenance division on the other side and I was happy with that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can go play in the cities and you might get away with that crap, but you're not going to get away with it in the culture community. Yeah, I know. Because these are technical communities. We feed the world here, okay? We provide all kinds of things that the world needs. Oil, fish. O oil, fish, fucking, you know. Some of our most talented people come from the come from the coastal community, you know. Right. Because they've all learned how to work. They all grew up working their butt off. Multiple skills are needed. Multiple skills, not, you know, and I mean, for me, I'm a journeyman level carpenter. I'm a diesel mechanic, I'm a gas engine mechanic, I'm a fucking truck mechanic, even know how to fucking fix airplanes, okay? A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, you know. I'm an oil field valve tech. I am a heavy equipment operator and a damn good and heavy lift. The equipment operator, like fucking cranes and shit like that, you know, all that. Because we've got USAA. Yeah, a lot of it I learned when you're when you're pitching and rolling 30 foot seas in the Bering Sea and you're running cranes and shit out there on deck, you better know your shit. You better know it. And then when you get to the beach, my biggest problem was is nothing moves. Crane not swinging, the ground stable, you know. <laughs> yeah, everything is really easy. <laughs> but do it in your sleep. Do you feel disconnected over here from, from the rest of Alaska or America? Uh, Basically, it's just that tunnel connecting. We like it that way. Yeah. Because all the crap stays on the other side of that hill. You know, we don't have to put up with the LGBT two crowd. We don't have to put up with any of that shit here. They're gonna come into town and you know, be here. They better yank up their fucking shorts because most of you are gonna eat them. Right. <laughs> so I just found out that here in Whittier. But I think I think last year or something like that, New York beat us. In New York, but this water straight from the glacier. That's I don't know, Joe. Where this water came from? Straight to the glacier. I don't oh, no, know. It's a how well. Come, it's a well water. It's a well. So how come we are the best water? The best tasting water. There's a ward over there for the best tasting water. Yeah. In Alaska. Yeah. They, did, they did taste it. Yeah? Taste the best. This right. water is from the glacier. From glacier water. From the water going to the... To the well. Go to the bottom. And I keep going down, then they suck out the well. All right. Let's try the best tasting water in Alaska. That's definitely good tasting water, guys. I can't explain it to you. It just 
it just tastes perfect. There it is, guys. It's a thing over here in Whittier. And you're from here, brother? Yeah. No, I'm in Taiwan, China. Taiwan? But now you live here in Whittier in the building? Yeah. And what's it like living here? What would you say, coming from Taiwan and now living in this small town? What is what is life like? Uh, life like a, I cannot tell. It's just just everything normal. Just you have to work. You have to. You work. You come here. This is yeah. this is the hotel. Uh, and yeah. Uh, we look look forward because uh, this is the big big port. Uh, right. I yeah. free deep water port in Alaska. And are there a lot of um, Taiwanese people living here in the building? No, um, just my family. Just you and your family? Yeah, and family. You all work here? Yeah, all work around here. Everybody works around here. Yeah, They're here, here at the grocery store. The grocery store. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where are you come from? I was born in Venezuela, oh. and since I'm five years old, I lived in Miami. Okay. That's all coastal communities here? Yeah. From eight years old? Yeah, back in my day, you betcha. Yeah. They're pretty solid and well trained with very well -trained. most rifles. Pistols, rifles, you name it. They can absolutely. Alaska living. Alaska living. <laughs> went up and died. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, she left me. And which was to. fine by me. <laughs> the dog or the woman? Oh, no, the woman. <laughs> <laughs> I made some friends over here, Ted. Hey, what's up, guys? And I found out that basically not everybody that lives in Whittier is actually from here or living here full time. We yep. just got here a week ago, a week right? Ago, yeah. We're just doing a remodel on the Whittier Inn here. So, yeah, I've been here about a week, 30 mile per hour winds. You know. Every day? No, well, for now, it's been pretty windy. For yeah. Now. Yep. And today's a beautiful day. It's super sunny. It feels like you can go out and bask in the sun, but not really. The wind is. Well, yep, uh, kind of hinders your job a little bit when it's windy. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. What were your thoughts on when you accepted this job over here and coming here, knowing you were going to live in a town that basically is this spot that we're at and then the yeah. apartment complex? Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's a good uh, experience, good opportunity. So uh, come on out to Whittier, you guys. Come on, visit. <laughs> Check it out and have a couple of beers yeah. at, at this place. It's a, it's a really the Anchor Inn, come on over. Yep. Give me some cool people. <laughs> All right, <enough>. brother. Cheers. <laughs> Met David over here, guys. One of the locals living here in Whittier. So tell me, brother, how long you been here? I've What's been, the story? I've been coming here since 2013, working for the seafood plant that used to be here, Great Pacific. And that went out of business, and then I came back here in 2018. Mm -hmm. And I've been a steady resident here in Whittier since 2018 for the past like five, five years now. And what'd you say was the daily day-to-day -day life? Day-to-day -day life. What do you what, what do you do here now? Right now I do longshoring, a casual. Mm -hmm. So when the cruise ships come in three times a week, I wake up, call them, they'll dispatch me out. I'll get ready for work at midnight, and then go to work, toss luggage, and then head up to the bar. We always come up to the bar, the upstairs anchor in bar. Right over here, the only yeah. bar in town. The only bar in town that's open all year round. During the winter, this is the only place to go. December 31st, it'll be over here? Yep, every, every day. Every day. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, every day. This is the only place that stays open. The only place over here. I mean, yep. this town is very kind of like, almost self-sufficient. It's just everybody lives in that apartment complex <laughs> yes, and then this is the only restaurant bar area here. yeah like 80 percent live in the bti the other live in the manor that's just right down the road over here oh so it's another apartment complex or yeah it's a condo association like uh it was some of the first ones that were built and there's a bar attached to that the sportsman's that was the one of the original ones because the cruise ships used to pull up right outside on the in the bay and the crew members would get off and go right up this long staircase right. into the sportsman's and that was the bar that was the first one here joe bought that from the owners uh irma and i can't remember the husband's name but irma beverly also worked there and joe now owns this property he, he owns this property and the sportsman's okay and joe owns a great deal of property at the bti the grocery store across the street right, so he's like the boss over here. pretty much yes 
right. and he, that's the only grocery store that we have besides the coast corner and the BTI. It's a little small mom and pop yeah. shop. So yeah, it's, it gets pretty uh, pretty isolated here during the winter time sometimes. Hey man, I came out, man. I just met these guys. They're they're from Alaska. He's Dominican. I mean, I met uh, some Samoans that were living inside yeah. there. So where's the majority of the people from? They're either Samoan. Uh, Samoan yeah, Samoans. Um, a lot of Samoans now, Filipinos, uh, Joe's from Taiwan, the owner. Uh, mostly, yeah, Samoan, Filipino is here now. Yep. But we get a lot of people from like Puerto Rico, uh, Mexico that come here for the seasonal work. Right. But year round, it's just a handful of people. It's a handful of people. Yeah, and they're, they're characters. To yeah. live here all year round, you have to be. I mean, uh, the wind is brutal. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. That's it, daily, right? It's daily. And it gets worse. That 80, 90 miles an hour coming from the BTI this way. Uh, that's like little hurricanes. Yeah, you, you walk up that road with cleats in the ice, and the ice is about to stick. Uh -huh. And you, you walk up that road, and the wind makes you slide back. So you're trucking up the thing, trucking, get five minutes, slide back. It takes another five minutes. Normally, it takes two minutes to go from here to the BTI with that wind and the snow and ice. Car doors get blown out? Yeah, 20, 20 minutes because the car might be stuck or you don't feel like driving. So, <laughs> But it is pretty great here. When you get stuck, there'll be like five, six different people that come and try to help you you know right, dig so your vehicle out so it's a beautiful place you guys all help each other and yeah you have to yep pretty much yeah because we only got each other i think one year they had a a collapse in the in a tunnel our one way in and out and it was shut down for like a month or two so they had a airdrop supplies in here nobody could get in or out of the town because of the landslide that they had. Oh, with the landslide. Yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. I wasn't here for that. Beverly, she'll be able to tell you about that. Yeah, that's the bartender. <laughs> all right. She's the bartender of all bartenders there. Wait, Beverly. <laughs> She's busy right now. She's in oh, the weeds yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. All right, David. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice Thanks. meeting you. You too, brother. Have a good trip. I'm going to show you the apartments, guys. <laughs> Made it happen. Gotta them finish them this. Tour, touring. I'm gonna show them the baby shower. Okay. And I'll be back. Okay, we'll be here. Right now. I'm gonna come back for one more. They're gonna show me the, the secret bar of stairs. The so, secret stairs? The secret bar. There's another bar of stairs I heard about. So. Alright. Alright, bro. I'll catch you in a bit. Chico, bro. How, how, how's it living here, bro? You're from DR. I'm curious because I'm, I'm Venezolano. So how, how do you get used to this weather, man? Too cold? Yes. How do you get used to this weather, man? Too cold? Yes. How do you get used to this weather, man? Too cold? Yes. How do you get used to this weather, man? Too cold? Yes. How do you get used to this weather, man? Too cold? Yes. How do you get used to this weather, man? No he vuelto aquí trabajando. Eres un duro, mano. Este clima aquí te hace duro. Vale, viejo. Guys, one of the biggest things that surprised me about here is the diversity. Dominicans, Taiwanese, people from all over the states, a little bit of everything here. It's incredible when you consider there's just 180 locals living here. And a few more. Ah, oh, you guys are good. What's up? It's cold. Out. It's cold. You're telling me I'm from Miami. I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. All right. So, all right, we're gonna go check out the apartment. It's 14th floor. Yeah, 14th floor. One of the highest. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's venture out here into, <laughs> into the coldness. <laughs> the coldness. Oh Lord. All right. Let's go. Yeah, it's freezing cold over here. And it's not just the cold, it's the wind factor over here that makes it feel way colder than it actually is. Yeah. All right. All right, guys, let's go check out inside. MTV Cribs, Whittier edition. So, all right, guys, this is, this is what it's like inside these apartments. They give you a quick little tour. 
Oh wow, you guys have gorgeous views though. Beautiful views. Wow, look at that. Oh yeah. So that's that's basically the town. I mean, you got some boats over there. You got all these buildings. That that's the the bar that we were at. The yep. the only hotel in town. The bar. Anchor in. Right next to it is a little grocery store. And then yeah, just a lot of random. Are are, are these? Abandoned or? No, they're, well, as far as I know, they're still up and running. They're all up and running. And then back over here, you got the um, you got the docks and the harbors for the cruise ships there. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see those over there. Yep. And that uh, building there is the Whittier Inn we're working on to the right of it. It's being right, so remodeled. They're building, they're building another hotel over there. No, they're just remodeling. They had uh, water damage. Okay. Yep. All right. Then. All right. So the apartments, they just come like this. This one's like a rental one, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they give to like seasonal workers. Yep, little kitchenette, yeah. Kitchenette, you got your stove, microwave. Oh. The Beats of Super yes. Motel, that's for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Can't I mean, laundry. Views. No, the view is, this view is, is phenomenal. This is a legendary view over here. Yeah. Yeah, and today was a gorgeous day. I mean, the sunlight is leaving, so yeah, <laughs> it's only yeah, gonna yeah. get colder. And these come with what, like what, one or two rooms? Two bedrooms. I'll show you a quick little snap of mine real quick. Simple, uh, simple quarters. Got your bed, basic quarters, you know, nothing fancy. All right, yeah, you got a bed, a desk. That's it. Same beautiful Same view. Same view, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, man. All right, man. <laughs> it's not bad at all, we're here. To no, not bad at all, comfortable. Home for the next, for the next, the winter. Next, next couple, couple weeks, weeks for me, yeah, for us. Couple weeks. There you go. All right. Yeah. All right, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me in here, man. Definitely. Thank you. And now we go back to the bar. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <Bomb> models. Bomados. <laughs> Terrence, what you doing? Taylor, you going to the anchor with us? Going to the anchor? Terrence and Sandy are my Michael Sandy are there. Up to you. We're it's okay. Saturday night. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Oh, yeah. The hallway, 14, no, 15 floors. Yep. Oh, this one's a suite. Yeah, they got a honeymoon suite right here. I wish I knew what, I wonder what that room looks like. <laughs> wow. Alright, must be, is, is there another one on the right or? Yeah. Okay, there's two suites. Alright. Alright. So, you got suites here, guys. Um, there's busy. owners here. The owners rent out the apartments. Some of them get rented out for seasonal employees. Do they have like one week stays here available? I uh, honestly don't know. Burr, 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 Alrighty. Upstairs we go. So we're early now guys, but this is the top bar guys. <laughs> Legendary bar. What else do you want? You want a pool table. You have old school American diner kind of booths over there. It gives you a Denny's kind of vibe. Tables. Games. Music. More games. And then you have all these dollar bills. What's the story behind all these bills over here? So the walls used to be covered with graffiti. All every wall in here was covered with graffiti, and then they painted over it. They painted over the walls. Pictures and graffiti, and then they decided to. Uh, Thank you. People just started putting dollar bills up. It's, it hasn't been that long, so maybe. Good. Maybe six years, five or six, seven years. So any visitors that come, and the people that put them up are usually visitors from the cruise ships or? Everywhere. A little bit of everything. All over. People, a lot of people from Alaska come, they're like, oh, I want to put my dollar up. Yeah. What would you like, Sandy? I got a lot of dollars here. Did you? Yeah, I did one. Uh, Let's check it out. Serbian money, Jane, not here Filipino pesos. I did that. Yes, I'll do that. A lot of Filipino pesos. But they take those down every year. 
Mexican pesos. Yeah. Yeah, I, like I mean, you see Filipino and, and Mexican currency here. There's a lot of both. A lot of both. And I think Filipinos pesos too. Yeah. You got any Dominican money up here? No. I'm sure there is. I just don't know where. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't know how to point it out to you, but I know there has to be some. There has to. And how long you you've been living here? 34 years. 34 years in the the building over there. And, and, and what's it like? What, what's a typical day for you over here as a local? Um, well, I wake up late because I go to bed really late. So I wake up. I usually wake up, throw some clothes on, and take my dog out because she's usually ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I get dressed and come to work. And was uh, what time does this bar close? Um, tonight I can legally stay open until 4 a.m. Nice. Is it Saturday night? Play some darts? Um, you know Sunday play? through yeah. Thursday, it can stay open to 2 a.m. Friday and Saturday, 4 a.m. <laughs> Unless it's a holiday, then it can stay open to 5 a.m. Okay. In the summer, we stay open to 5 a.m. on all cruise ship nights. All well, cruise ship nights, okay. yeah. Yeah, it must get pretty tight. Us. It gets busy. It's yeah. nice. We get the crew. Yeah, oh, mainly the crew comes over the here, crew. not the passengers. Passengers not stay in their boat. The passengers, the passengers are discouraged from getting off the boat. What a shame. I mean, what an opportunity to come here and just check out something new, meet some new people. I would never want to go to a cruise someplace and not be able to get off at the port and, and see the local bar. Meet the local people. Yeah, exactly. Like, what a, this is a legendary bar here. I, I can already tell. Quite a lot of nice stories here. <laughs> we built this bar in 1991. I came to work here in late 1990 and he got very busy and I said, you better build another bar otherwise I have to go back to the other place for the summer. And so this place was built. built and turned into a bar early 1991. Did you have any say in the design? No. I would never have done this. No. <laughs> this is insane. It's like when you're busy, you're just ah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. So the only thing, the one and only thing he did was he had me come up here and reach. And I said, Joe, I'm really because I was five foot ten then. I'm like five eight and a half now. But I said, Joe, I'm really tall, and I'm not always gonna be here. So we have a step stool. <laughs> All right, to so reach up there and well, back in the old days, I was, I was real little and, and wore little shorts, and I'd just you know climb around. That's great for business. <laughs> right. <laughs> but now, no, <laughs> it's too dangerous. I'll fall. So. And is there a if anybody has to go to the doctor here, you got to get back to Anchorage. Yes. What about when the landslide, the rock slide happened? So when that happened, the train came in every day They, because there's another tunnel on the other side. So the train, because the, the, the road is new. The road that comes, the Bear Valley Road that comes through here is new. We used to um, go through the little tunnel. Let me see. We'd go through the, the big tunnel, then the little tunnel, and then the train would take you to Portage which is out on Seward Highway. Right. And then you would, you know, put your car on the train or off the train. And the train only ran three days a week. Yeah, good, I'm holding up pretty fingers. Um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. When the rock slide happened, the train came in, I think, pretty much every morning. And people could just get on the train. They didn't bring in the, the, the cars not the flat cars, just the passenger train. And um, some people had cars over in Portage, so they would get off and take the cars to Anchorage. Right. Um, some, like I, I didn't have a car over there, but like somebody else did, so I borrowed it, drive to Anchorage shop, then come back, and you have to unload everything off the train. Or, How long did that last? How long did it take them to I cover up the rocks? Like I want to say it was like months. It was Once? a long time. Oh. I don't really remember how long it was, but it seems like it was like three months. I don't know. Um, 
three months to clear out. <laughs> I I really don't know. I could be not. I could be so wrong. But it. But it was a long time. Still, it probably could have been done a lot faster. Felt like a long time. Yeah. Yeah, so like living here, I mean, do you feel disconnected from the outside world in any way? I mean, you got the internet, of course, but... Of course I do. I mean, other than that tunnel connecting you to Anchorage... Um, but, but if you live here by choice, then you probably like that. Right. You know, um, I regret it sometimes, but uh, usually I like it. Um. Like if you have to catch the catch a flight out and you have to get through the tunnel. I mean, it's hard. It's hard sometimes because you, like my brother died in 1999 and there was construction. I literally had to walk through the tunnel to get over to most of the way, not all the way, just part of the way to get to the other side and um, get picked up and taken to the airport. Um, if you get, if you have to get into Anchorage the, the ambulance, can, they can open, they'll open the tunnel mm -hmm. so they can get you through. Um, okay, so in terms of a medical emergency, in case of a you medical call Anchorage, emergency. they'll get an ambulance No, you, you call 911 here, here and then they open the tunnel uh, for you and get you through. Okay. Hey. I added my dollar. My ambitions as a rider. Have a look, guys. Aging like fine wine. Like fine wine. Guys, this was. That's some 1994. 1994. And that corner over there. Right over there. Bye bye. Thank you so much. I've added my dollar bill over here. Right, it's right by the men's room. I put it under the men part. <laughs> All right, brother. All right, man. You Thank you so much, man. Trip, Legend man. over here. Thanks, nice G. All righty, guys. So I've been invited for a couple of drinks inside the apartment by some ladies. Woo! Yeah, no elevator here. I'm running just to get away from the music, not to go outside into the cold Alaskan weather. All right, I heard no. It's empty here now. Ooh, Saturday night. There we are. gonna follow you. All right, all right. We'll follow you. We'll follow the Jeep, all right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Bro, it, it got windy or what? I can't right, even barely open the door now. <laughs> We're gonna follow them. All right. Woo! All right, <laughs> all right they're leaving, they're leaving. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go here. Gonna hold it. Cameraman, cameraman, here we go. Hey! We're in Whittier. We're about to follow these. Her, they're back and they're pulling in her. Stop right here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Keep going. <laughs> follow that car. <laughs> where are they going? Why are they going up the mountain? <laughs> That's where we're going. All right. We're gonna... <sighs> cool thing is, there's like absolutely no traffic here. <laughs> <laughs> here we go to the back of the building, baby. Y'all want to see some spooky shit? Oh, we're going to the empty build. All right, so this is the empty building. That's a spooky village. Spooky Buckner building. <laughs> how, how much Take have you had to drink tonight? Hi, <laughs> officer. My name is Sharon, and I'm caring a lot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video one out. I'm going to take oh. some pictures of the Buckner building at the, prison, okay. the little jailhouse, which is in the center. Yeah. And this is just a beautiful shot. Then you take a right and you go up Shotgun Cove Road to the end. Beautiful shots all the way out there. Oh my God, you got to go everywhere. Yeah. But right now right. we're going to have drinks, officer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Let's all right. <laughs> The <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Special edition>. bonus, <laughs> the bonus DVD features. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> this is tons of fun, man. Yeah, bro. This is a lot. Yeah, it's what we do. Oh yeah, look, Whittier. Whittier, baby. This is, oh, look at these holes over here. What is yeah, this? Yeah, that's where we're going. Okay. Old, old man Bajamba lives over here. I walked here the other night. I had to carry her. 
So this is the Beverly Hill Zone. <laughs> or Whittier. It's the Red Zone. <laughs> is that where we're going? You got some yachts. Hey, you better burn that shit. Turn that shit. Burn it. <laughs> hey, right here. Your camera died. No, no, it didn't die. Just oh, okay. touched the battery. Yeah, battery saving. I don't know. Yeah. All right, we'll pull up here when she closes the door. All right. All right. Guys, this is exclusive footage into <laughs> Beverly Hills. Hold on. Is, is this Beverly Hills Whittier? <laughs> That's Beverly Hills. Whittier. Yeah. Whittier. All right, all right, all right. Park and come in. All right, thank you. All righty. So, well, 80, 90% of the town lives inside the, the, the towers. This is the other part, guys. All right. All right. Ooh. All righty. Excuse the pots and pans. I'm giving them to somebody. Okay. Michael? Yep. Hi, I'm Johanna. Nice to meet you, Johanna. All righty. And excuse the mess. Have a seat. Hey. 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 What would you like to drink? I am. Anything I but beer. Yes, yeah, she has three cats. Oh, well. Three cats. Right. I see a fish tank with a lot of tiger bars and this? Yep. fish. Perfect. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this cat! Oh. <laughs> How about this? Perfect. He is okay. a, the cat is Alaska equipped. That is Honey Bunny. Honey yeah. Bunny. Don't touch, touch her. Oh my huh? Do you want beer? Or do you want a drink? Oh, I'll have beer, please. That cat. Look at this cat. Oh, you're so pretty. Wow, I, I had never seen a cat like I have never seen a cat like this in my life. Bat cat. Yeah. Oh I my for goodness. Years I thought she said fat cat. She's so fat. hairy. Yeah. Is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, he is so big and fat. Oh, it's a he. Oh, oh yeah, my bad, bro. Look at how big he is. Oh, oh my. Oh, wow. uh, what do you call it? Brandy. It's XO, 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 wow. and these are all my Chinese uh, whiskey. And then I got Shambhali and gin, and it lights up. It's wow. so cool. You turn on. Is that and not cool? You collected these here, or? Yeah, I buy them. I buy stuff every year. Um, these, you know, are just cute little things. These are the year animals. Oh wow! Look at all the Pokemon. I see Pikachu. Thank you. I love Pokemon. I see a lot of the originals. And I'm going to arrange them around in here later as decorations but it takes time especially when they're that tiny hey google turn on the beer sign this is my beer sign. oh <laughs> uh, but right. and what is your background i am Aliud eak and athabascan i'm alaska native in other words okay oh so, yeah and i heard you are latino yeah venezuelan american oh wow what moves you to america my mom moved me when I was five years old. Oh, lucky you. I had no idea yeah. what was going on. I was just... So are you... Uh, my mom. Are you a dual citizen? Yeah. Lucky you. So you can go over there and come over here and enjoy whatever. Yeah, and I can go to many countries that the U.S. is not cool with. But mm -hmm. Venezuela, since it's the way it is, they're cool with everybody else. So it's, it's pretty cool, yeah. I love it. Yo, know? that is up. so But this cool. over here... So... There's the towers, and then this is the other residential place yes. over here. Yes, this is the Whittier Manor, where we live in these apartments. This is two apartments. That one is a single bedroom. This is an efficiency, and we just connect it together. And my boyfriend, whom I married, he, uh, he had this, and when I first met him, it was barren. <laughs> <laughs> it's but very cozy right now. Now it is completely filled up, you know, and I love my string lights along my devil's vine. It's you know? very cozy. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's just super cozy there. I hope that um, shot that you guys are having. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Hold on. I hope it is. Hey, you guys took the shot already? No. No. Nope. All right, let's do the shot. Let's do the shot. Let's do the we shot. We were, yeah, uh, we were ba ba ba. Oh, ba ba ba. Oh, who's having wine? Are you doing the video? Yeah, I like the video. Yeah, we're, we're here, bro. Welcome to Whittier, baby. Whittier. Ah, Take it. Two Whittier. 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 Population 180, 181 tonight because yes. I'm out of the plus one. Yeah. All right, but where's, where's the shot? Who's taking this shot with me? Ah. Where's the shot? Ted. Ted. Where's, Where's the Ted? shot? Ah, oh, you and Ted. I'll do one with you. Yeah, all right, all right. Ted's all right, Ted. Ted. Are you, you guys are doing one? Uh, oh, I didn't. No. Cheers, brother. Welcome Yay. to Whittier, baby. Thanks, thanks. Yes, 
thank you for coming Cheers. and having a drink with me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I love it. I love it when I get people to come have a drink at my house or my home. And I put a two uh, limit because that's really? that. Well, yeah, it's very deadly. The Alaska Sterling Highway, that's the most deadliest highway in all summer. You get people it really dying. Is. It really and is. She's everything is. It's bad out there. So if you drink, stay stay where you're at. Don't drive. Sterling Highway. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, all right. So I'm saying? Stewart Highway. Uh, do you want a sandwich? I'm like, are you going to uh, Yes, please. Back. I'll have a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you want a knife too? Or do you want a half of one? Or so a whole one? No, I just eat the whole thing. I don't need a knife. I don't I just grab this. All right. Thank you so much. Called your finger poop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I will get you a knife and a napkin. Do you yeah. want? All right. Mike? So hold on. So I can stay over here tonight then. So is her boyfriend. Um, and they live in Eagle River, so we trust I was you. like, okay, it's girls' night. So I'll come this <laughs> yeah. All right, over. hey She's guys, like, well, I'm, I'm staying with Whittier tonight. I'm going, I kind of figured that. <laughs> all right, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Anything I said about not drinking anymore is gone. Oh, yeah. We're it's going all in. It's going all in. Oh yeah, we here, baby. <laughs> all right, let's start with these shots. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys are trying to convince me to take. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Papa, you too. Come on, let's do it. Oh, Pour in the okay. yeah, oh. bottle over there. Yeah. The narco whiskey. Narco. Okay. Oh, you guys got to promise you guys oh, yeah. are good and respectful. Either, right? And at huh? 10 o'clock, we have to be either, quiet. Right? I love my All right. tequila okay. narco whiskey. Yeah, I'll knock okay. out. I'll, I'll okay. drink whiskey right because here. Because at 10 o'clock is the rules. All right. And this is not my house. Right. I just do everything to it. All righty. <laughs> Let's do it. No, where, where's your take a shot? Take a I, shot. I'm oh, having shot. another shot. We're all yes, doing shots. Shot, oh shot, shot, God. shot, yes, shot, yes, shot, yes, shot, yes, shot, yes, shot. Yes. Everybody. Listen to me. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Extra clean shit and Bill Schaffer around there, right? Look how far the fall is. Watch how far the fall is. In that water, that's the fourth fastest current water in the world. You're gone a mile a minute. It takes five minutes for the rescue crew to come and get you. So by that time, you already got hypothermia, if you're not drowning already, and you're five miles away before you're getting rescued. It's just real. Alaska, get cookie and lit. That's how it is over here, right here in Whittier. Uh, that's not that's not in Whittier. That's in the Cook Inlet. I'm on the peninsula, and I work on the uh, oil rigs out there okay. so that's work over there that's work man and we got they got us over here doing the uh winter in so you're you know some easier stuff but chair. some kind of similar <laughs> similar but it's, it's hard it's still hard work let me see if i can show you a cool picture man so this is what it started like on the outside some cool stuff and then this is what it looks like now no we're not done yet but we gotta go all the way pretty much halfway around I don't know. That's the whole tub. Yep, this is what it looked like. Made it look cleaner. This is what the top looks like. We're almost to the top. Oh, look at you. Oh, honey bunny. Oh, yeah. This looking, it's looking good. What? I'm getting it. I'm trying to help you. Those seasonal jobs are. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're just uh, building scaffolding in Whittier right now, man. Have fun with it. But we gotta stop during the I'm high winds you. and I'm you know. Of course with those high winds, bro. The high too. winds are bad, man, and weather, so right you know, you it's theater. it is what it is. So and, and the company the, sent know, me, hey, I need a scaffold. They sent me the blue. I you made the white. There? So that's what oh, it looked yeah. like before. <laughs> you pause it. Oh. I'll quit. Okay. And then uh -oh. that's what it looked like before. This is my wine that's port? my plans. I drew all this out, ah, good. and then as I was building it, I modified it different. I didn't like that, so I actually made that squared all out. So that's what it looked like I when I was it. done. You, you got go? the hang off over there, cantilevered know. over water. And that's, that's one of your skills over here. What well, do you do over here? That's my job. Stuff. That's what I specialize in, the scaffold. Hanging scaffold. Oh my God, Johanna, are you So if you watch, here's, here's a cool little video I got Did just hanging like on the edge. <laughs> just beautiful you know, out here. Old people, oh, so that's all I got right there. I that's it. Them not to repeat. Oh, then when I'm on a helicopter, they fly us on a helicopter <laughs> to get out there. <laughs> and I'm the only one on the helicopter. Wow. Now, when you feel just comfortable loving it, dude. I love life, man. Yeah. Fucking beautiful views. Just everything, if I don't man. Like you, shooters. You guys, Alaskan hospitality. This is, it is legendary 
Natalie! I got him hey. and a couple hours ago. A couple oh. hours ago. Carlos! Now we're on her couch. She can testing sleep on her. all this. You can sleep on her couch, brother. 907 is one of my to sleep on her couch now. <laughs> With me, honey. With the kitty cats. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm and the kitty cat. Wait a minute. The hairy cat. Honey. Hey, there's nothing wrong with the hairy cat. Baby cat and honey. Really All right, so now we're we're moving on to to oh, this no, vodka. No, no, no. <laughs> Remember, oh, you guys had this vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Shit. And then, oh. are you kidding? Me? We yeah, moved on to up. batch nine oh, seven. Gluten is gluten free. free. I mean, hell, it's do you want a shot too? Gluten. Gluten. No. All right, cheers. No, salud, no. salud. We're here. <laughs> you got Mishka from. All right, let's do it. What are you on three? What are you on three? One, two, three, Whittier! Cheers! Whittier. Oh, cheers. I mean, we were something yells Whittier. Oh my gosh, you guys are so Oh, that tastes really good. Hello, Hello Polaris? Are you ready to have Hello? a shot on my husband? So Holy smokes. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, Nick Knight, we love it. Woo woo! Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, I have never ever had one. All right, so I'm not really worried anymore about the tunnel closing because the tunnel, the last exit is at 9, 10, 11, 10, 30. 10, 30. I can make it, but I'm not gonna try. No way, no way. I'm gonna live Whittier the way Whittier is supposed to be lived over here. You've had a shot of this, right? Honestly, a little bit of everything. It's been proven guys, it's not just the little plaque at the bar about the greatest water, I'm having more right now and this is definitely legendary water. It's water at the end of the day but not really, it's just the water here is just way better. Who served it to you? It's all about the server. I served it to you! Yes, don't With your water, hey. Yeah, this I'm is one of the best things here. With your water. You got two drinks that Bottoms up. No, and I haven't had my two many. You yet. haven't even had one yet. Not my two many. This yet. is our first one. First many. First of many. Yeah. You're lucky because you know what? I feel fucked. Eight dollars for a shot. Really, fuck? really, guys. All I jokes aside, everything I aside, this is. Man, shut up, Mike. This is know, legendary I'm water. I'm scared. I'm scared. Glacier water, that's what I it think is. You're a good man. You I'm can't beat it. Man. You, guys may, you guys may have grew up in the hood, but you guys never grew up in the woods. <laughs> I know, but I did. <laughs> you ain't never, <laughs> grew, you ain't never no, grew up in the woods, nobody man. Nobody knows. Shit, about you gotta worry about bears, wolves, you. lynx, moose. Fuck yeah. that shit, know. dude. I'm fucking human. Yeah, fuck them. Are you talking about Alaska, obviously? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you may grew up in the hood, me and never grew up in the woods. Oh, hey, <laughs> Alaska <laughs> living. Our, our Alaska was. All right, camera's on. <laughs> Turn the light on on the side. Right there. All right, let's go, let's go, let's hey, go. Hey, we got Carlos, who just came out the fucking <laughs> Beverly Hills uh, Whittier. Uh, he just came out holding the fucking drinks, Carlos. I'm drinking water. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> We fucking rolling in the Jeep deep with some hotties. Can I get a hello from the hotties? Do not. Oh my no, god. No, it's just the Whittier. Oh That's my good. god, <laughs> look at the hotties. <laughs> fucking A, they driving the Jeeps. They must be the keeps. I swear to God! Oh my shit! God, get oh we oh look at that thing! Oh, oh we. Anyways, we rolling the Jeep deep. We getting it. Carlos is fucking hammered. He my boy. You know it's the Whittier thing, dude. I ain't from this bitch, but we fucking own it like we here. You know what I'm saying? We own it like we from here. I got the girls, Natalie. We fucking running shit. I got the boys in the back of the Jeep. We running shit like we roll this bitch. Dude, we don't give a fuck, dude. So it's Whittier. What up, these? What up, sweet? We owning it, no. We do it. That's what we do. Cold. They say it's the too cold. Dirt. No, dude, My we all. <laughs> 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 they can't handle it. It is what it is. You know, it, it's just the Whittier thing, bro. It's Alaska. It is what it is. You know, we we just do it. We just get fucked up, and we just fuck shit up, dude. Ain't on to it. I'm checking in. 
<laughs> no, don't you do it. And it's not even winter in Alaska. <laughs> this is the coldest I've ever been. I don't know why. I mean, I've been on an article, but this is the coldest I've ever been. You're gonna get the fucking sun top of the mosque. Hurry, where's the light? Oh, I'm so cold! <laughs> no, you're a blast. I appreciate it. I'm gonna come hang out with you guys all day. <laughs> this is the spot in winter. Oh, Lord. Bro, turn, turn, turn that lighter on, please. Hey, <laughs> turn the on. It's so cold right now. Oh, I can't. Bro, I love you. You're fucking cool as motherfucker. No, you're a legend, bro. <laughs> you're, I am. <laughs> bro, that's it, bro. I will teach you to fuck in the ways. I will show you. You're blowing. Bro, fucking stupid. Can't speak. Time to la 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 la, but. Bro, hold on, like. Really? Yeah! How, uh, uh, you don't really have a sweater on and you're. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him. What? Who's gonna tell what? Nothing. What? You're gonna tell someone who doesn't. You want my number? Oh, shit. Or no, she don't no. want your number. <laughs> Alright, so. I can do you don't want to tell number? Alright, do it. Alright, we gotta run out? Yeah, we're, we're coming. We're going up. Alright, we're going. Take this drink. Take this drink. That's my drink. Oh, it's your drink? Yeah. I want your drink. No. Oh, my ah. drink. Go ahead, set it up, Buttercup. All right. Oh, you look like a woman. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it, guys. This is this is beyond any cold ever. Okay, Michael. Hey, guys, let's go. Oh my God, the way that the way that let me open the door. Oh God. Hey. All right, let's go. Guys, let's go. <laughs> I have to run back into the building. Oh shh. Guys, if I throw this water into the air, it's just gonna turn into crystals. The thing is, they're Alaskan. They're useless. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Like, you ain't gonna see anything, guys. This, this is a parking lot from earlier. You see the ships back there? They're not even running. They're not even going back inside. They're good, so my part there is something I know they're gonna make their way, but they're not even running. What the heck are they doing? My hat! I lost my hat! Let's go see what the heck is going on, guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 oh are you not cold? What the heck? I'm cold! Where's your hat, bro? Oh my god! We almost broke our hat! Hats. We're going back in, we're going back in, it is too cold. Where's the hat? He had a hat on. You're good. Step up. Door open. You're good. Step to the door. Oh, we're good. Step to the door. You're good. 
Where we're going up high. Six two? Uh, semi last. Do you hold on. Six Fourteen. Two? Fourteen. Fourteen? Hey. Yes, hey. We lost our hat. You took my lighter. We lost our hat. We lost our hat. You both lost your hat. That's a 60 mile an hour. We chilling in the fucking beaches towers. We going to floor 14. Ooh. There ain't no floor 14. Look at this shit. Yeah. Look at this shit. On. Woo, woo. How's that math, math? <laughs> that shit don't math. Yeah. But we here. Yeah, Watch we out. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. Be fucking quiet. Be fucking quiet. Because oh bad God. numbers. Let's go this way. The door is open. Fuck that door. Let's go. We don't like hey. that door. Let's go this way. Don't go to that door. It's a bad door. Oh my god, another open door. Come on. <laughs> oh, somebody's gonna kill us. There's another room in the apartment. Hey, we get in this bitch. We get in this bitch. Get the fuck out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We can't be here. We woke the Dominican up. We woke the Dominican up. We did it. We did it. We hear Carlos. We did it. We came to another room. Hold we on. in the other room. We in the beach uh, tower. Like the other side. What the? F we here. Michael, yeah. you want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it? Yes. Hi, and thank you for all the fun last night. <laughs> thank yes. you. Thank you so much for welcoming me here. <laughs> yes. The Bye -bye. adventure continues. Drive safe. We'll do. Alrighty, guys. So, why? She's so nice, guys. Like, I gave me another sweater so I don't freeze. Because mine sucks. And it's really cold outside. And more than cold is the wind over here in Whittier. Oh boy, let's go. Woo! All right. It's not that bad, actually. So it's about, it's, it's nine o'clock. That's why I gotta get there because the tunnel opens on the hour. So, 9, 10, etc. And if it's too cold sometimes, they won't, they won't open it. <sighs> All right, this, it cannot get hot in here quick enough. Have a look, guys. So that's the mountain with the glacier on top of it. And this is what the tunnel looks like on this side. So when you're leaving Old Whittier, this is what you're gonna run into, guys. What a town, Whittier. Legendary people here, for sure. Extremely welcoming. Amazing hospitality, guys. She brought us, Natalie brought us home, and, 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 we, and we just kept drinking a little bit of everything to a point that, Carlos, you're not driving home. I, I didn't, I didn't go against it too much. I. <laughs> I throw all those shots, forget about it, guys. But I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. It really takes a long time, like it's nine o'clock now, but the sun's not gonna settle until like 12 and then kind of warm things up. That's what we're looking at now, guys. Goodbye from Whittier, and while we're waiting for this tunnel to open.